Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video again about rate of change. And for this video, we're going to look at the rate of change of two different representations. One is going to be a line graph, and one's going to be a table. And then we're going to determine which one has the, the greatest rate of change. Okay? So this problem involves actually um, Taylor Swift and uh, tickets for a concert. Okay? And in the line graph, notice that the, the tickets were purchased in July. Okay? I've underlined the word July. And then down here, the tickets were purchased in December. All right. So to figure out the rate of change, we need to come up with two points. Okay. So I'm going to use this point right here, and also this point right here. So we know the cost of two tickets cost two hundred eighty-four dollars. And then the cost of three tickets cost four hundred twenty-six dollars. And remember, the way you find the rate of change is you have to take the difference of the y values and put that over the difference of the x values. All right, so that's going to be 426 minus 284. That's the difference in the y values over the x's are the 3 and the 2, right? So 3, take away 2, and that's going to give us 142 over 1. Okay, so every Taylor Swift ticket costs $142. That's the rate of change. All right, now let's find the rate of change of the table. Okay, we do the exact same thing, except right here are our points. Okay, so I'm going to use the first two. So we know two tickets cost $300, and three tickets cost $450. So those are going to be our points. So let me write those points down here. So we have two tickets cost $300, and three tickets cost $450. All right, so again, let's do the change in the Y. So going from 300 to 450, well, that's 150, right? So let's actually show the step over here. So 450, take away 300. That's going to be 150. We put that over the change of the X's, and that's going to be 3 and 2. So 3 take away 2 gives us 1. So the rate of change of the Taylor Swift tickets in December is $150. So obviously it's a better time to buy them in July than in December. Okay, so which representation has a greater rate of change? This would be the table. And there you go. All right, so the next page is the problem I want you to try. So when you pause the video, and then when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so for this problem, you had to solve a problem involving uh, cell phone bills. So the line graph shows the cell phone bill of Verizon, and the chart shows the cell phone bill of an AT&T customer. All right, so to find the rate of change of the graph, let's use two points. We're going to use this point right here, and then how about this point over here? All right, so this point here has an X value of 2 and a Y value of 190. So we're going to use point 2 and 190 and then this point here has an X value of 4 and a Y value of 380 so 4 and 380 all right and you should know by now to find the rate of change is the change of the Y's over the change in the X's okay so I'm gonna subtract 380 minus 190 and then let's do 4 take away 2 that's the difference in our X values so 380 take away 190 that gives us 190 over 4 take away 2 is 2 and let's just get the, the unit rate 190 divided by 2 is going to be 95 so the unit rate for Verizon is $95 for every single month now let's do the same thing for the the table involving AT&T alright so I'm going to use uh, this time this point and then also this point alright so we know for two months it cost two hundred and ten dollars and then for four months it cost four hundred and twenty dollars alright so again it's gonna be the change of the Y's so 420 minus 210 that gives us 210 over the change of the X's 4 take away 2 which is 2 and then last but not least let's get the unit rate 210 uh, divided by 2 is 105. 
So according to our data, the AT&T is a little more expensive uh, than the Verizon. Okay, so they have a greater rate of change. So the answer for this one is going to be the table. All right, how'd you do?